everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be testing out the new Laura Mercier concealer and also the setting powder because I've never tried that, which I know. That was a thing quite a few years back and it still is because apparently it's absolutely amazing. So I thought I'll join the bandwagon and give it a go. So if you want to see my review on the concealer then just keep on watching. As you can see, I've already got my foundation on and I also did my eyebrows. So I literally just wanted to dedicate this whole video to the concealer and the setting powder. So it says it has seamless coverage, a weightless feel and a flawless wear. Coverage that won't crease, medium to full coverage, flexes with skin to seamlessly control the under eye darkness and facial imperfections. All day hydration creates a crease resistant natural finish. And it's a weightless feel with a blurring effect, 12 hours of high performance wear, it's oil free and available in 12 shades. So I'm not going to be doing a wear test today because I have not got time for that if I'm completely honest. So down below I will just let you know how I got on with it throughout the day. So if you did want to see the result of that then just have a look down below. So I got mine in the shade 1N. So I got mine in the shade 1N which is pretty light, I don't know if it's going to be too light but we shall see and also can I just say I love this packaging like it is basic but Laura Mercier's packaging is quite basic but it still looks like I don't know you can just tell that it's high quality if you know what I mean but it just comes on a little doe for application and I'm just literally gonna put that under my eye oh I really like this dofa. it's flat and flexible if you know what I mean I, because it's really fat you can drag it really nicely so I'm not going to put too much on because I do want to see the coverage of it but I'm just going to put it under my eyes oh my god I love this dofa and then I'm just going to take my Real Technique sponge and it's damp so I'm just going to blend that in so for first impressions it's definitely brightening as you can see I think I did get the right shade if I was any darker I probably would need to get another one because it is literally the right shade for me when I'm pale so yeah it looks quite hydrating as well like you know tart tape shape tape shape shape tape or other concealers they look quite well on me because I've got dry skin they look quite dry under my eyes but this one looks really hydrating which it did say in the description so they're not lying on that one so I'm just gonna put a tiny teeny little bit more just to see how much more coverage I can get and I'm just going to put that right in the corner where the darkness is. But I really do love this dofa light. It proper gets in on your grooves and that. If that makes any sense. I know what I'm talking about in my head. I know exactly what I mean, but sorry if you don't understand. So yeah, as you can see, it's brightening. It actually does look flawless. Like that description nailed it down to a T. It is hydrating. It's not creasing really. Obviously, like I always say, I've got quite bad like wrinkles under my eyes. Even though I'm only 19, I have wrinkly under eyes. But yeah, not bad. I mean, it's never gonna beat shape tape. Let's be honest. I don't think anything will. I, I'm just obsessed with that but it is very hydrating. I'm not gonna lie, you can still see the darkness right in the corners, so it's not full, full, full coverage, but I am very tired. It is my day off today and I'm absolutely knackered, so. So now we are just gonna go set it with the Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm just gonna tip some into the lid and then pick that up with my sponge and I'm just gonna place that under my eye. Oh gosh, it's quite yellow. I didn't expect it to be yellow. So you know those powders that literally just look like you've got a white cast under your eyes when you're baking? This, this is nothing like that. This literally sinks straight into that concealer, which I personally like. It didn't matte it too much, which I like. It still looks quite hydrated under my eyes. So yeah, I actually really like that. My under eyes actually look flawless like I don't know if you can tell on camera but in person it looks absolutely stunning I just wish I didn't have wrinkly under eyes makes me so sad and then with the rest of the product in the cap I'm just gonna set my face so it's definitely not too matte 
which I absolutely love because obviously I've got dry skin and this just makes it look all set in place, it doesn't give you that matte effect, even though obviously I don't have that much of a glow, well I have a little bit but no, I really like this, I can't believe I've never tried Laura Mercier before, like who hasn't tried their setting powder, I think the whole world has, like everyone I watch they've used it for years and I'm like, like it's a setting powder, why would you spend so much money on a setting powder when you can get ones really cheap from the drugstore and that but I just can't believe it. I really thought I'd just be like, yeah, it's another setting powder, but no. I like this more, the concealer, actually. Like, I know everyone is raving about the new concealer, and I mean, yeah, it is good, it's hydrating, and apparently it does last a very long time. But I think if you've got a full coverage concealer that blends well, then you're winning. So I've done the rest of my face off camera because I literally wanted the video just to be dedicated on the concealer and the powder. So... I didn't do anything special as you can see. I don't really do anything special unless there's an occasion or a certain look I want. So I just thought I'd match my jumper with my eyeshadow. So yeah, my final thoughts on the concealer and the powder is, well, the concealer is very hydrating. It definitely applies flawlessly. I absolutely love the dough for on it. It's just, I don't know, the shape of it and the flexibility and it's just flat. I just love it and it really didn't crease if I'm quite honest and that powder literally just melts into the skin and I know you all probably have used it before but I absolutely love it. I should have got it and jumped on the bandwagon a long time ago. So yeah I hope you all enjoyed this review and hopefully it makes you want to buy it too because you really do need to if I'm honest. If you did enjoy the video please do give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new and click the ding bell down below because you want to stay notified in case I upload again. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!